What's the best way to collaborate on different ideas with a group of people in real time? Whiteboards are a great way to brainstorm and ideate. The challenge that we all face is that we are now in this hybrid work environment. Not everyone is in the same conference room at the same time. So how do we extend the ability to ideate and brainstorm to those who are remote? Well, the answer is electronic whiteboards. Now, anyone who might have tried to use an electronic whiteboard over the past few years may be rolling their eyes right now because those solutions were way too complex, had way too many features, and was way too expensive. So in this video, I'll show you how simple the whiteboard solution is within WebEx. Let's get into it. Now the whiteboard interface is the same across the web browser, the meeting client, and your video hardware devices. Let's take a look at the browser first. This is whiteboard.webex.com, which is your central repository for all the whiteboards that you create. Now let's take a look at what it takes to create one. So to create one is very simple. I just come to the create button in the upper left and I click on that and it will create a new whiteboard. So what I want to do is to walk you through the very simple controls that you have. So remember, this is meant to be very approachable, very simple, analogous to using that old whiteboard with that dry erase marker. So let me start with the pen tool. Now the pen tool here, just as you would with dry erase markers, you have different colors that would be available. And so, and I also have different thicknesses. So let me get a real thick pen here and I'm going to try and draw a straight line. I didn't do a very good job at that. So I'm going to go to the magic pen and I'm going to try and draw that straight line again and see what it did. It actually corrected the line that I drew. So it anticipates what I'm trying to draw and we'll fix that. So I draw a circle and wow, it fixed that circle up really nice. Now, of course, I can draw in different colors. That's, you know, that's par for the course. If I need to erase something, I can erase with the erase tool. If I wanted to add a predefined shape, like a square, I can do that very easily. I can resize that square. I can change the fill color of that square. Um, so those are the things that I can do with uh, the shapes tool. Now, if I want to place a sticky note, I can do that as well as I brainstorming ideas. It's very easy for me to add additional sticky notes. If I want to change the colors, I can do that very simply. And of course, I can type within those sticky notes. So I'll just type in sticky here. And so it allows you to organize your thoughts from that perspective. And of course I can do free form text. And with free form text, I can make it bold. I can italicize it. Uh, I can do right left justification and I can make it very large if I want to. Uh, now the select tool here allows me to capture things. If I want to be able to move these things around, I can do that. And then the move tool, so I can move this around and you can see at the bottom down here, it sort of reflects that I can zoom in, I can zoom out in terms of percentages. And so I can have an infinite canvas and continue to draw on this. Now, if I wanted to title my whiteboard, I can do that too. I can give it a title. I'm going to, you know, title this title number one and I hit uh, the check mark and it secures that as the title. Now, once I've completed a whiteboard, it's very easy for me to share it. All you gotta do is click on the green share button in the upper right, and you can share with others in your WebEx org, or I can just copy the link. I can also export my whiteboard to a PDF by clicking on the ellipses button in the upper right. So let's take a look at how to create a whiteboard when in the WebEx client. So it's very easy to bring up the whiteboard app you come down to more options and you click on that and you'll see at the bottom a menu item that says start new whiteboard. So if you click on that, it will bring up the whiteboard app and it's the same controls that I showed you previously in the Chrome browser, except for the fact that the controls are now on the left hand side. Uh, so if I wanted to add a square, if I wanted to draw a line, you know, all those same controls that I showed you before are here. Now I want to show you a little secret. If you want to be able to import a whiteboard that you had previously been working on, I'm going to show you how to do that. So it's very easy. What you do is you come back to um, whiteboard.webex.com and you choose a whiteboard that you want to import. So here I've already chosen this particular whiteboard that I call ideas. 
up on the upper right, you see that it recognizes that I'm actually in a meeting because my credentials on whiteboard.webex.com are the same as my credentials in the meeting. So everything's tied together in the back end. So if I want to share this into my meeting, all I do is click on the big green button that says share into meeting. And so by doing that, you're going to see that when I flip back to my WebEx client, that whiteboard ideas whiteboard is now in my WebEx client. So now I can continue working on this whiteboard and I can have others in the meeting also co-collaborate with me on this whiteboard. Now on my desk pro or if I'm using a WebEx board pro in a conference room, I have the exact same view of the whiteboard controls. Now to access your whiteboard on a desk pro, it's relatively easy. Just click on the screen. I click on whiteboard on the right hand side and start new whiteboard. So when I do that, um, obviously it has all the same controls that I had in the WebEx client that I showed as well as when you're in the Chrome browser on whiteboard.webex.com. Now, one of the nice things you can do, you can still access all of your whiteboards on whiteboard.webex.com from a device. All you have to do is come over here and hit that folder. And as you can see, I've got all of the whiteboards here. And so if I want to bring a particular whiteboard, I can do that. Now, if you want to share it into the meeting, you got to hit the share button. So don't forget to do that. So then everybody else can participate in uh, that whiteboard. Now, if I wanted to create a brand new whiteboard, I can do that by uh, clicking on create new whiteboard. Again, don't forget to hit the share button. You hit the share button. So there's a brand new whiteboard that's there. And you can see up here, it says whiteboard saved to John Seaton. That means the previous whiteboard that we were working on will be saved to whiteboard.webex.com. So you never should be fearful of losing any of your whiteboards. So whiteboarding should be real simple to use and approachable. It should be as easy as picking up that dry erase pen and starting to write. So I hope you found this video useful. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe. Have a great day.